And as we've seen, while the snow has let up, extreme low temperatures have iced over our area. Specifically in Peoria, we hit a low of 13 below zero yesterday morning. The National Weather Service tells us the last time we got that close was in December of 2022 with a cold air outbreak of nine below zero. The last time we were colder than Sunday's weather was in January 2019, where temperatures got below 20. Alex Irwin with the National Weather Service explains how we even got here to begin with. In this case, um, you know, we see a lot of fluctuations in the jet stream this time of year. Um, in this case, there was a big dip to the south, which allows Arctic air to enter into uh, the heart of the country, basically. Erwin adds, in weather like this, it's important to keep an emergency kit and layers in your cars just in case your vehicle has issues or an emergency happens to you while you're on the road. Now, because of all the weather, there will be no in-person instruction or after-school activities at Peoria Public School buildings tomorrow. That's the 16th. That word came from a school officials in an email sent yesterday. They say due to the consistent projected wind chill of 25 below, tomorrow will be a virtual learning day for all kids, and teachers will be available to help them out during the day if they need it. Officials will keep monitoring Paul and the rest of the weather team's forecast for the rest of the week. In the meantime, and we also know that McLean County Unit 5 has also announced it will close tomorrow due to the cold temperatures. We'll have more on that later.